Hello guys, welcome back and welcome to the first Christmas video of 2021. It seems early, although I do have to say, today has been the first day where the weather has been totally crazy autumnal, like insane rain showers and then glorious sunshine, it's a little bit cold. Um, so I have got that like slight inkling of winter is coming, however, it's still September when I'm filming this. It's going up in October, but it's currently still September. And every year I'm like, man, really? Christmas already? Um, but top 10 advent calendars. Now, a little bit of an intro disclaimer in the beginning here. You guys will know if you follow me all of these years, I love Christmas. It's my favorite, favorite time of year. And I love the content around Christmas. So I do extensive gift guides every year. And I also do a rundown of the top beauty advent calendars. I have to say this year, I feel excited about the advent calendars again for the first time in a while. I feel like last year and maybe even the year before, things got a little bit overdone. They were so exciting when they first started coming out back in the days of like the Ciarte nail calendar when it was all new and I feel like since then, every single brand has jumped on the bandwagon and they've just become a little bit overdone, a little bit boring in most instances. Um, I feel like they're all fighting for that kind of same spot. The other element of it is the kind of like mass consumerism of the whole thing and like buying product that you don't necessarily need and I don't feel massively comfortable promoting that. And therefore last year I cut it down to like the top five advent calendars so that I feel like I really focused in on things that I thought were worth the money and that you would use the product and it wasn't just like wasted product. Anyway, this year comes around and actually I have to say I'm going back up to 10 again because there have been 10 calendars that have really, really impressed me this year and I feel like I couldn't do a top five. I had I had like a top five list and then I had like an honorable mentions list of five and I was like, I might as well just do a top 10. I don't have them all to show you because I like, unless they arrived, I'm, I didn't like buy them or ask for them or whatever. Um, so I'm gonna show you the ones that I've got. I'm gonna talk about the ones that I don't. I'm gonna link everything below so you have all of the info, all of the links. Some of them are available now, some of them may be sold out by the time this goes up because some of them sell out in like a day when they're released. Um, but I will link to where they are available so that you can have a look if you do want to buy them. So a lot of them are still available. Um, so anyway, number 10. Number 10 this year is going to Dior. And I have to say, I feel like this year Dior has taken the top spot of like that ultimate luxury calendar that was previously reserved for Jo Malone, Diptyque, and I feel like Jo Malone this year actually I feel like their packaging has taken a downgrade in terms of what they've done. I don't know if you've seen but it's basically like a it's a pretty box, it's Jo Malone, but it used to be like a townhouse and it was stunning. Um, I feel like now, and they also haven't really done anything different since they launched, so for me Jo Malone haven't made it in this year even though I love them dearly. Dior have taken their advent calendar, I think they did this last year actually, it used to be like a, a VIP um, client slash VIP customer gift and um, press send out every year, but it wasn't available to buy, it now is available to buy, they don't say the worth value, but it costs £340, so it's mega mega expensive, but it's stunning, and you get like Dior Christmas decorations, you get fragrance, you get skincare, you get makeup, and I feel like it's one of those brands that really does so many different products that it does an advent calendar really well from one brand. So Dior is my number number kind of 10 spot and it is like the ultimate luxury. If you've done an advent calendar before, if you've got lots of products and you're not necessarily looking to try kind of tons of new brands, I feel like it's the ultimate kind of gifting one. Number nine this year actually goes to John Lewis. And I have to say, I was so impressed when I saw the selection of these products and the price. So the John Lewis advent calendar this year is 159 pounds and it's worth over 600 pounds. So the actual value for money is huge and it's packed with so many different um, brands. I feel like when it comes to advent calendars, the mixed brand kind of retailer ones are all gonna be a little bit samey because let's face it, there are 24 brands at least, some of them have more than one brand in each door, we'll get onto that in a minute, but there's gonna be some crossover because there's only so many beauty brands on the market at one time that are in big retailers, right? So we have seen in all of the high end kind of um, retailer ones, Augustinus Beda, um, Charlotte Tilbury's usually in them, um, you usually get brands like, I'm trying to think of ones that have like appeared in every single one. Um, Laura Mercier is often in them, Nars is not often in them, um, 
MAC is often in them. So you do get a little bit of repetition, but I feel like the John Lewis one this year, again, I'm gonna insert a picture here so you can see the contents. It's super impressive for the value. Um, I feel like it is on a par with kind of Space NK, Cult Beauty, um, maybe even, well, no, not not near towards Nessa Forte, but it's that kind of vibe and it's 150 pounds instead of 200 pounds. Well, it's 159, um, but it's that in that slightly lower pr price bracket that makes it a little bit more attainable, I think, and you're still getting really similar products. So number eight, again, talking about the more kind of um, affordable price range ones, but that you still get a really good product selection. Look Fantastic is the first one that I actually have in person. The packaging is really nice, really festive. It's that same kind of like draw, kind of like quite um, sturdy cardboard. They've got a nice poem on the inside. I feel like these are the type of ones, you can reuse them if you want to, but they're also heavily branded. So whether or not you actually would, is a question mark. The Look Fantastic one is £85 and it has a value of 410 So again, super, super good value for money from this one. The reason why this is number eight and not higher for me is that the brand selection that comes in here, I've actually taken them all out and put them in a bag so I can kind of easily show you. Um, the brand selection that comes in this one for me is really good brand wise, but the actual products are not the products that I personally would pick from those brands, if you get what I mean. So like, I look through the brand list and I'm like, wow, amazing, it looks so brilliant. And then I actually look at the products themselves and I was like, yeah, like nice, they've got AHC, um, eye cream, Aveda, leave-in treatment, this is actually really good. Philip Kingsley Elastic Styler, this is brilliant, I actually use that all the time. I say I didn't like the products, actually, pretty good. Um, Espa, Clean and Green, Detox Mask as a ritual, I think that's a full size candle. There's all sorts of stuff in here. Advance, um, Christoph Robin. Is that a mask? Cleansing, purifying scrub. I feel like my scalp could use that right now. There's Omravitsa, there's Illamasca. And I, I just feel like for me, it got beaten by another one, which I will talk about in a minute. So like the brands are really good, the value's really good. And if you are a Look Fantastic um, member in terms of I think it's if you subscribe to their subscription box, you actually get an additional £15 off. So it ends up being £60, £70. It ends up being £70, um, which is really, really good. To be honest, like, for what you get is amazing. Number seven is another one I don't actually have in hand this year is By Terry. Now, I actually didn't know that By Terry did an advent calendar in previous years, but now I've read up on it. They actually did do one last year, although I didn't see it. I think actually personally for me, this one is the one that I would choose if I was gonna keep an advent calendar, if I was gonna buy my own advent calendar this year. Most of these I give away either to charity or to friends, just to let you know in case you're like, what the hell are you doing with all these advent calendars? Um, if I was gonna buy one this year for myself, I would actually go for the Buy Terry one. It's 169 pounds um, and it has a 410 pound value for money. So really good value for money, but the products from By Terry are so good. I feel like I genuinely use all their products all the time. There's a really good selection of kind of skincare, makeup, color in there. And it's just one of the only brands that I really would love like a single brand one from. And it's also really good value for money considering the brand is expensive. Like By Terry makeup is expensive. And to have an advent calendar that's 169 and 24 days, like I feel like it, it's, it's good, it's good value for money. That's the By Terry one. Then at number six, I've actually put in net porte And I've never actually had the net porte advent calendar. And for a time when I was writing this list, I have to say it was at number one. Really was, because it's 225 pounds. I've got everything written here in case you're wondering where I'm looking. But the worth value is 1,000 and 300, 1,300 pounds, like insane amount of product in there. But for me personally, A, the packaging wasn't all there. I don't love the packaging and that's not everything, but it's Christmas, you know, design does come into it in terms of aesthetic that you want in your house for Christmas, etc. It's an added bonus to have a really nice looking advent calendar, of course. But also the actual products, even though they're worth a lot of money, I feel like they weren't necessarily ones that I was like, oh, I really, really want that. Oh, I really, really want that. Um, in terms of the specific brand choices, which the number one calendar has won because of that. Like genuinely every single product in there, I've been like, want that, want to try that, want to try that. And I feel like that's really powerful. With the Nessa Porte one, it just didn't quite have it for me, but 
That being said, the brands are incredible, the products are incredible, and all the products that you individually look for as a person is gonna be different. Like, things that you're looking for versus me will be different, things that you have, things that you've tried will be different from the things that I have had and tried. So really, if the brands are fantastic, if the products in there float your boat, 100%, it's the best value for money calendar out there this year. It's fantastic if you can get your hands on one. They're currently, I think, like about to be launched. Again, I'm gonna put all of the launch details down below and all of the links so you can check them out, but that, that one will be difficult to get hold of in terms of if you don't move fast on launch day, you won't be able to get it. Number five is a little bit of a different one, and again, this is like the polar opposite. I feel like I've included different calendars for different types of merit. This one is not the best value for money. It's 160 pounds and it's worth 236. So it's not like, oh amazing, like, you know, 70% saving, whatever. But it is beautiful and it is, I think, quite unique in the sense, in the beauty world at least, it's from L'Occitane and it is their refillable material. Um, advent calendar this year and it's a collaboration with I think it's Katie Mull is her name she signed it and I'm actually not the best at reading her signature let me have a look no Katie McCall um she's an illustrator and how absolutely stunning is this I feel like if you are buying a calendar as a gift for somebody who's into gardening or flowers or just really likes this kind of like aesthetic that's not super super you know high-end glamorous but it's totally reusable and would make a lovely like calendar for years to come and also from a brand that really does have fantastic bath body skin it's got shampoo and conditioner it's got fragrance it's got makeup it's kind of got a little bit of everything in here so if you're looking for something that kind of does it all in that sense this is amazing and I feel like it's really unique and really beautiful and I feel like it's one of those things if you love this you will really really love it even though it isn't worth you know 500 pounds or whatever um it's a really really nice advent calendar and it's for that reason that I've included it another single brand advent calendar that I've included this year is the Elemis one mostly because of two reasons really with this the packaging is so cool and again massive props to Elemis this year for absolutely nailing the packaging and making something useful out of advent calendar packaging. It's a three tier tin, it's got a lid on the top and then it's got the three different colored tins. You can obviously use the lid on either one of these tins but or you can stack them. I don't know anyone that wouldn't use this in their house at Christmas for like baked goods, cookies, biscuits, sweets, etc. Like useful, right? In between Christmas and New Year when you've got all those leftovers hanging around and just can be used over and over again for years to come. Very good packaging from Elemis, I personally think. It's a little expensive, it's 175 pounds and it has a 402 pound value. So it's not bad value for money, but it's not like the best, best, best in terms of if you're comparing it to Space NK. However, people that like Elemis love Elemis. Like, I feel like people who are into this brand are usually die hard, hardcore fans and their skincare is fabulous, their body care is fabulous, and I feel like if you like it, 25 days of Elemis is gonna be fantastic. The actual like amount of product you get in here is amazing as well, there's like a full size marine cream. You're not talking like deluxe sample sizes, you're talking proper travel sizes, if not full sizes in there. Like there's a lot of product in here, um, and it's really, really impressive in terms of the way they've thought about the packaging, etc. It's also very, very beautiful when you open it up. The illustration on the inside is just stunning. So that made it to number four for me. Number three is actually really heavy is the next beauty advent calendar and this really surprised me they sent me this out of the blue i didn't know it was coming i opened it thinking i'm not gonna be that impressed like ne i don't even really know what brands next stock specifically i know they do stock some higher end brands so this is 79 pounds and it has a worth value of 243 so really good value for money again and also with this, why this came in so much higher than the Look Fantastic one for me is that the actual product selection, again, is just really good. Like, the Look Fantastic one had the brands but didn't necessarily have the products that I wanted. Next, like I said, I opened these doors and I was like, wow, I actually really want to keep a lot of these products. There's a full-size MAC Ruby Woo. There's um, Elizabeth Arden Retinol Capsules. There's Liz Earl Cleanse and Polish, which I know a lot of people would love. There's By Terry Lip Balm. Yeah, it is By Terry Balm de Rose Lip Balm. 
Longcom Genifique, there's a Marc Jacobs Daisy, there's iconic um, lip gloss, lip or is it lip gloss or lip no it's lip gloss I thought it was a lip oil there is a pillow spray from this works like really iconic really good products I feel like people would actually use wouldn't just sit in the back of the drawer for a long time there's a Moroccan oil treatment which this this is the 25 mil one that lasts forever um there's uh Urban Decay All Nighter Spray there's L'Occitane Vervain um shower gel so much in there there's Aurelia there's Kiehl's there's uh, Benefit, Nails Inc, so many good brands, so many good products, really, really impressed with that. And I feel like for £79 this year, I say affordable, but like, beauty advent calendar is expensive. I feel like you're either on board with getting one or not, but in terms of what you get for your money, and I feel like being a more accessible price point than the ones I'm going to talk about now, I feel like the next one you really can't go wrong with this year, so, so good. And then in competition for the top spot, it was actually really tough because, and I changed my mind a few times because it's basically between Cult Beauty and Space NK, right? They both are very similar price points. They both have very similar brands. They both essentially do very, si like they're a very similar retailer, except for the fact that Cult Beauty have stores, um, Space NK have stores, Cult Beauty is online. Space and Care is obviously also online, but you know, they are very, very similar retailers in terms of the brands they stock, the, the price points that they are at. Um, and I have to say it was really, really close because it just essentially comes down to the actual product choices that you get. So in second place this year, I actually put Space NK. Um, I'm I'm pretty sure Cult Beauty won last year as well, but so the Space NK calendar is £199. It has a 700 pound value one of the reasons why it didn't come in the top spot because really i'm looking at negatives now because most of like most of everything about this is positive the packaging is not like absolutely incredible again this is quite light because i've taken all the products out so that i can actually show you um it doesn't have a door it's kind of it's a lot more recyclable i guess but in terms of reusable not so much in terms of it like you know you take it's one of the ones where you take the box out and then you have to kind of fit it back in and if you don't like it's just not the best design wise the products inside are glorious they really are wonderful the selection is pretty amazing and the sizes are super super good as well there's a lot of full sizes there's kate somerville um, they've got Medicaid, they've got Dermalogica, Summer Fridays, um, Sol Gennaro, they've got um, Drunk Elephant, so, so many. They also have a Boy Smells Candle in the mini size, which is so nice. They've got Charlotte Tilbury, they've got Hourglass, they've got Anastasia Beverly Hills, they've got um, Dr. Dennis Gross, they have Cordially, they have a Sunday Riley, like honestly, and good sizes. Like, look, this is full size, I think. This is the 15 mil one. I think you can get it slightly larger than that, but seriously, amazing sizes, amazing products, and just a really good selection in general. And it only lost out to Cult Beauty because firstly, the design of this is gorgeous this year. The Cult Beauty advent calendar is so nice. I personally love clashing red and pink as well. Not massively Christmassy, but super nice, definitely reusable, very lovely doors. It's not overly brandy, like the branding on the front is not like too, too obvious. And the value for money is incredible. It's £215 with a value price of 275 so nearly £1,000 um, worth of product. The brands and the products, the individual products in here are incredible. You know, you're talking basically the creme de la creme of beauty brands like this bag is full of the stuff that goes in it it is so heavy you've got shiseido you've got inky list which is actually quite a cheap brand but really good you've got alginist my favorite i love this stuff the calming balm as well um there's a row n eyeshadow palette which looks amazing it's not a brand i've ever tried before but looks fantastic you've got charlotte tilbury sunday riley pharmacy you have uh, Molten Brown, The Ordinary, Briogeo, you have a full-size Bella Freud candle in the final drawer. And the thing that sold it for me, like, I couldn't actually believe this when I opened it, because in previous years, Cult Beauty have had, like, uh, on the 25th day, they've had, like, multiple things in the drawer. They've done it twice this year. No joke, and I don't even really, like, it's crazy why. So the 25th 
is I'm ruining it for you if you're gonna buy this, but the 25th is the candle. You get the full size Bella Freud candle in there. But then they also introduce on the 18th, look at this. You get a whole drawer of stuff on the 18th from Vive, Nas, Natasha Denona, Too Faced, Barbara Sturm, um, Westman Atelier. I can't, I really wanna try that. There's a Kabuki brush in here. There's a Laura Mercier powder. This is on day 18. And then, like also amazing products as well and all ones that I wanna try, which is rare for me because you know, I am so lucky doing this job. I get, that nearly fell on the floor. Doing this job, I get to try so many products. I don't need or like necessarily want a huge amount of products. And it's rare to see a calendar like this and be like, oh my God, I want to try that. I love that. I love that. I love that. And this calendar did it for me. But then on the 24th, there's another one. There's another box with loads of products in it, like all different brands. Absolutely mind-blowing. There's Kate Somerville Exfoliate, Kate, which is like my one of my favorite exfoliators ever. There's Drunk Elephant, there's Medicaid Serum, what is this one, an Espa? There's like under eye masks. Seriously, absolutely mind-blowing value for money. If you can get your hands on this one this year, I feel like it has my vote for being the number one. If you can't, Space NK is almost as good if you want a little bit more niche brands, the um, net porte one is also excellent, incredible value for money. If you do want to spend that kind of £200 price point and get incredible products, if you want something a little bit more affordable, maybe head to Next or Look Fantastic. And if you want like a single brand, you've got my opinion on the By Terry, the Elemis, the L'Occitane. So that is it for my rundown of my top 10 advent calendars this year. I can't believe I got excited about them again. I never thought I would genuinely, like I thought my advent calendar days were over, but this year kind of threw it back. I love it. Um, so that, um, those are my thoughts on advent calendars this year. If you are looking for one, if you're looking to invest in one, try out some new great products. Those are my thoughts. If you want to get your hands on one, make sure you check out the links below, move fast if you are um, wanting one because most of these will go quickly because they are all really, really fabulous. And also just a reminder that I do usually give away one or two calendars on my Instagram and it depends. I haven't decided what I'm gonna do yet. Last year I actually just reached out to some of the followers that message me frequently and have supported me over the last year and I just asked for their address and sent them a calendar. Um, this year I might do a giveaway in a slightly different way, but if you follow me on Instagram, you'll be able to see um, and have a chance of winning um, one of these, because I, I do give a few away. Like I said, some go to charity, some go to friends, some go to kind of giveaways and stuff, but um, that, those are my thoughts on advent calendars this year. Keep your eye out for more Christmas content. It won't be coming yet, but there will be Christmas content coming soon, and I hope you're all having a fabulous day. Bye, guys!